Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We are dental practice brokers nationwide, and um, we sell dental practices. I was a dentist myself for 25 years, now doing this for 14 years, so we're here to help you. Today's topic is buying a dental practice based on geographic location and the spouse desire where to live because of family. Is that a wise decision? We'll get into that. So as you know, we have uh, 10 employees now. We're in 22 states and we work every day except Christmas and Easter. You can reach us at uh, 201-663-0935 or our website, dentalpracticeguide.com or also nationwide dentalpracticebrokers.com. You can always reach us. Every day we work except Christmas and Easter. The information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes. It's not legal or business advice. Now, if you're thinking about selling also to a uh, DSO, let us know. We work with them all. They pay our commission, so there's generally no commission to the seller. But on top of that, we know who the best ones are. They all pay me the same commission, so we don't have a favorite one. We just want you to choose the best one. And some of them are going through some consolidation now. Excuse me, it's really sunny. It's bright out here. Uh, they're going through consolidation right now. And um, some of them are taking a long time to go to closing. So we can help you navigate those waters. Now, also, if you work with us we're gonna, and you have a DSO practice, or million dollar practice or, high, or higher for sale price, we'll you know, pay the seller legal fees. In other words, we'll reimburse legal fees upon successful sale. That's worked out quite well. So what do we have now? doctor wants to buy a great practice he was going to move to an area or she was going to move to an area that was um growing a lot of growth down there retirement money also it was a thriving practice and the doctor was actually turning away patients because they could only handle so much that is the present doctor this doctor was all excited went down with the spouse we thought we had an opportunity but then the spouse uh, prefer to live elsewhere in a different geographic area near the spouse's family. And that's understandable. Family is important. you got to spend that time. But on the other hand, from a business point of view, the area upon which the spouse wanted to live was not a growth area in the United States. It was a stagnant area. Prices of homes haven't changed in like 40 years. Nothing happens. No industry there. And they want to go to a kind of a rural area. And all because of the other spouse's family. Well, is that a wise decision? Well, first, we have to understand the family first. All that, that's important and all. But we said to the doctor, you know, not only are you going to not make as much, you won't have any, as many new patients. And it's going to be stressful. And when you go to sell your practice in a rural area, you're going to have trouble because rural area practices do not sell well. So you'll find practices for sale, but you won't be able to sell yours. In 20, 30 years, 20, 25 years comes pretty fast. And it doesn't have the growth, doesn't have the population. So making a decision based on the spouse desire to be near family, all due respect to that, certainly. But now you're jeopardizing your business. And your ability to get associates and so forth will be even more difficult. So we're suggesting you'll do so well at your original location that had high growth, turning away patients, high uh, population, that you could buy a house in the rural area that your spouse wants to go to and visit it every so frequently. Spend your weekend, spend your summers there, your Christmas holiday, your Easter holiday, all your holidays you could spend at that home you bought at the rural area, okay? You may be able to retire younger and just commute back and forth occasionally for holidays and all that type of thing. That could work out very well. Rather than saying you want to live there 
because the family is there. Well, that will make you as the spouse comfortable, certainly. But the husband may not make as much financially. And they put the husband under more stress. And when it comes time to sell the practice, get an associate, it's going to be more challenging. But you're near your family, all due respect for that. But is that the priority? Because it's not a business decision. That's a social decision. But you're going to an area that's a rural area. Why would you do that and sacrifice a dental practice? I'm saying you can make enough money in that dental practice to buy a little cottage, a beach house, whatever, up in the rural area, up in the area that the uh, spouse wants to move to. And you can go there with more frequency. Or the spouse wants to stay there for a bit, uh, you know, a couple extra a week or two, she can certainly, the spouse can. So that was our thinking because the doctor called us for our opinion. And I tried to explain that that area that you want to grow, people don't spend as much on their teeth. You don't have the growth. Yes, uh, those areas are nice. You look out to the forest or whatever you do there, but it's not the same. So we're telling them, make a decision based on a business decision, not a social decision, and then adapt by pleasing the spouse and perhaps buying a, a summer home or a spring home up in your rural region. You'll be able to go up there and it should work out great for you. So those are some ideas we exchange. We just simply don't feel you should make your business decision based on location of where the spouse's uh, family is. All right? All right, thank you for listening. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be alerted for the more uh, videos. We are frankly uh, doing well here. I think we're at 100, 460 YouTube videos, something like that. I mean, we're this quite a bit. So we're excited about that. And we hope you're learning something from these too. All right, Dr. Gary signing off. Here we go on these beautiful highways of New York. Woo! What pothole city. Bye.